Welcome to episode three of Livecraft. If you uh, if you saw last episode or were on the stream, I decided that this giant chasm over here was going to be where a big giant city was. So off camera, because I also needed some building materials, I chopped down like all the trees in this section. So we have most of it completely dug out. But today I wanted to do some planning both here and at the base. Uh, and I need to gather up all the materials and put them back in my storage system where I'm currently based up. So today, yeah, I want to lay out some more planning for the, the, the village that we have here and the city over there. So that's what we'll do. Um, here is the completed completed structure we made last episode this is to go down to the mine it's kind of like the center of the city uh we'll, we'll base everything off around there if we're going to plan things out i would really like to do it in leaves because leaves are very easy to get rid of and that's just what i usually do to plan out builds i would like to ask you all the the viewers to uh give me some suggestions uh on things to build here in this little city so that I know exactly what what I what I should be building here because uh, right now I'm thinking a farm but that's towards the outskirts of the city or of the little village and then uh, I also want some other buildings for my uses like enchanting shop a potion shop different things like that housing obviously for the villagers Oh, I need a wall all the way around, so I guess we could map out the perimeter there because, uh, again, these people are constantly under the, th the threat of creeper invasions at all times. So it'll be very important that they built that wall to keep out the creepers since there is that nest, which uh, I, uh, I did get a confirmation that we can use those uh, command blocks in order to spawn or not really spawn creepers but the command blocks will basically have a thing where any new entity within a radius of the command block spawns any like bad guy so any uh any skeleton any spider any zombie will uh will spawn then it right next to it will spawn a creeper and then that mob will be teleported down to the void where it will die so then effectively we've created it so that only creepers spawn in the area um all all of their mobs get replaced now that i'm getting every all of this situated i'm starting to think that we can put the edge of the city uh the the border at least of this village because i i want to keep it about the same size i don't want it to make it any bigger but i do I don't want it to be a square either so um, with this kind of windy path I'm thinking this could be the border here so laying out this border I think this can be the border and this kind of goes out so it's not a perfect square that would be kind of boring if a city was a perfect square oh we could make the edge of the city here on this waterfront that would be cool or right before it and then there would be like a building or two on the outside of the wall doing something with the water like water mills i could i could be down for that especially since it's so close this could be like a little corner yeah i like that i do love how many how many uh animals there are wandering around here if only they stayed wandering around like that and they didn't randomly like wander into some caves or something and then maybe we'll go like around this tree here i don't know i'm just trying to think of how i would make the wall more interesting than just a flat wall because flat walls aren't never very interesting they're always uh they a flat like a flat area is usually not good in minecraft doesn't look as good if it was uh curved like the one i'm doing now it's it's a lot better so we're gonna kind of make this the uh the curve the turning point of the wall and start coming up this way 
and it's becoming nighttime, so I'm just going to hold a torch. That way everyone on stream can see properly. We're going to keep going this way. I'm, I'm really curious to see what this looks like because I like, I like that it's going to come right now. It looks like we're on the tra trajectory to actually make a make the wall end pretty close to the water which is what i wanted and uh we actually need to start going down um so kind of like this we'll come in and then we'll come in one more for a few blocks and then this will be the wall the rest of the way because uh yeah now we want to curve it so doing two blocks here one two and then this is the rest of the wall here gives a pretty good curve and then this is actually perfect for like a little a mill here that's built on this cliff side or in this cliff side would be really cool please tell me that's not one of my villagers can you hold blocks because it i would like to cure you i can you cannot so you're gonna die then cool so I might want to come in like this. This will be like a tower here, maybe, that connects these two. So if we kind of do this, you can see where maybe a watchtower might be to keep an eye out for those creeper invasions or other people invasions. So this, this can be a corner with a watchtower. I think that's probably a good idea. A five radius circle starting here so it's one yeah yeah one two three four, five that's actually that feels a little too big for this I'm gonna cut it back more so it's a four radius we'll see how that looks uh, And this way, this is actually very, very big still. I don't want it to be this big. Like, that's the size of a circle tower that you would put in, like, a big city, not this little tiny town. Like, this is, this is fine because it'll be smaller on the inside since we're going to put some detailing in it. So, that should be fine. And we'll put door there. Oops. A door here. Dang it, I'm misplacing blocks. And then just like that. So it's it's a very, very small weight. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. That's what that's what the mistake was. There. Okay. So there's uh here's one circle. We can get rid of this now that we've Place the inside. Perfect. I feel like I've gotten really good at making these circles. Like, I know this is a basic circle pattern, but I didn't start out by doing that. I did something else. And I it bothers me that there is path inside of here, so I'm going to get rid of it. I think that looks good. I think that looks really good, actually. So it'll come out this way, and then should it come in this way? That way there's actually a curve. I feel like it should. So it'll come like this, which means we got to make this wall touch there, start coming in. So like there, then we'll go diagonally in. And then there's actually, oh, a few blocks here. This will make a weird curve here. Three. Okay, this might be really weird, and I don't know that I'll, I'll like this. So, bumps out here, and it kind of doesn't, yeah, I'll change that up. Because that, that does not look correct, and please, please notify me in the stream if you disagree or if you have any suggestions on how I can do this properly, but this is not really... The diagonally, and then I went three out from that diagonal on this side. Do a one, two, three. And then from here, I went five. There we go.
There we go. Okay. That's it. That's that's the wall design we want. And then there there should be I guess there should be one of those circles here too then. Yes. I was just a little confused there. Perfect. Okay, so there we've got tower towers. Um there might need to be one over here, but we ba we've got the whole thing complete now it looks like. There need there definitely needs to be a tower here cuz I don't know that there's another tower in a very long time. So we'll have to get rid of this. By the way, to, this was the first week of my classes. I think they went really well. So uh, I, I have, I think, five, five classes, I want to say. Yeah. And uh, it's actually my first, um, I have my first senior level class for my major, my actual major. I've had senior level classes before, but they have never been in my major so the, I've had like a sociology class that's been a 400. Uh, that's a little different than in my major because like in my major, I feel like it's a little more uh, more important to me that I pass and that I do good. It's not like it's a lot more at stake, I guess. And uh, the class I, I'm really excited but worried sick about is called a sophomore project. And it's, uh, I work with an outside client and create a program for them, like a, an application that they wish to, uh, to get, to, to have. And I'm like freaking out about it because like, you know, I'm, this is one of the first times I've actually built software for someone else that's not an assignment. So it's a little scary. Uh, it'll be a great learning experience. Fantastic. But. Like the class, I meet with my professor once a week and it's not like during a class time. So unless I actually go out and talk to some of my classmates, I, it's like it's like it's just me. And that's kind of scary. That's actually very scary. <laughs> I don't know how, how I'm going to deal with this, but it'll it's either way. It's super, super exciting that I'm actually having this this class and having this project what it what what is actually a very big um variety in terrain here because like we got this cliff thing next to the river and then we also have uh a lot of forest but then if we go over here it's it's kind of like a flatter forest area with mountains in view too so this is very, very interesting, like how diverse the, the how diverse the, the terrain is. So there's like hilly forest, then there's flat forest, there's river, and then there's like cliff. And I think I think this will be really, really good. I just eventually need to come up with a wall design, which I will for sure be doing in creative somewhere besides on stream so I can actually get a good um a good wall going because anytime you make some sort of pattern or big repeatable thing you kind of need to to go through and figure out exactly what you're doing before you do it otherwise it's a mess it's an absolute nightmare so next since we've completed that and we're actually only an hour into the stream i say we lay out some buildings for the uh for the city over on the other side now i picked up like okay it wasn't that many just 26 eggs so i want this flat face here starting like right here to go into that one right there so i guess i need to take a step back and look at this and see where the flattest part is and where where the middle is right here this is the spot and i'll actually like pillar up so we can actually see this this time and this is going to go all the way up like all the way up to the top of this hill just so i know how i'm laying out this wall and i can actually since i'm up here i could probably make just the top of the wall go all the way over it's actually perfect.
because you can see we're kind of on the same level as that one. It might be a little high, but it's perfect. So we eventually got to move over like a, quite a bit. So I'm going to keep moving this. This is the wall, by the way. This is the outline of the giant wall that's keeping uh, this city kind of contained within this crevice. As you can see, these are not going to intersect as soon as I thought they were going to. Wait, you can place torches on leaves now? Hold up. When did that become a thing? You can place torches on leaves. When was that when was that implemented? Oh. Would does it have to be in your offhand? Can you do it without in your like in your normal hand can you put torches you can when did this happen this is huge this is a huge feature game changing game changing <laughs> and i didn't know about it what i'm gonna do is i want to go to here right starting from here so I'm going to take my cursor on this block here, look directly at this, and this is the way we're going to go. And we're going to hold down right click to create the path. And the issue is whenever stuff like this happens, I'll have to reset, go back, start again. But it'll be way better and it'll look way cooler if oh this is this is off way better way cooler if we can do this and look straight this way take this path that we made and go straight there we go i i feel like we're we're making progress here oh no there's a tree okay good we didn't hit it and and this, this is the mountain. This is the mountain. Oh, we're so close to getting there. I'm just going to jump and keep going at this angle here until we hit it because I know we're going to hit it. Like exactly. We hit it exactly at the correct spot. Yes. <laughs> yes. There it is. There is our path. Now I can see it from the sky angle here. It looks so, so, so much better than the uh, than the ones that we made before too. It looks so much, so much more natural the way it just like it looks like a straight diagonal line. Okay, so I wanted to give a quick update before the next stream happens. So this is the final verdict of the uh, of the of the wall here. I added two blocks on each side from that center part that we did on stream and then I added these pillars down here so we could get a better look at exactly what it's going to look like and uh, I think at some point I might change it so that the terrain it goes a little bit up and down with the terrain that might be a thing that I need to do sometime because uh, right now it looks a little straight for me but I also made this uh, path over here that leads to the village. Now it's very windy because the village is literally over there, but we start going over here. Uh, the reason for that is I just followed the the terrain of the of the forest here, and I went in between trees and just where there wasn't any like anything. I didn't have to cut anything down. That's just the way I went. So like as you can see, like I didn't want to go up this block and through here because there's a bunch of trees. So I went around and. And stuff like that. It'll make the the uh, the path a lot more interesting to work with. But here, I also cut down all of the trees inside and around, so we can get a a better look at the whole thing. I also made a little archway here, uh, torched the place up. But this is looking really good. I'm super excited for this world. I I'm I really love the building here. This is definitely my favorite building world. That I've done because there are so many plans for it. I love the feedback I get on streams and in the comments. 
So uh, make sure you do leave those comments. Give me the suggestions. This is your world as much as it is mine. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.